Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 404. Uh, the idiom today is on someone's radar or on someone's radar screen. That's why it's in parentheses, because you might hear it both ways. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to let's get right to it. If someone is on or off someone's radar or radar screen, uh, it means that he or she is aware or not aware of or possibly thinking of or considering doing something or not doing it. So if you say that somebody is on someone's radar, it means that you are aware of it. But if you say they are not on your radar or they are off your radar, then that means that you are not aware of it. You're not paying attention. You don't consider them important. You, you haven't been following them. You're not really aware of them. All right, let's continue. The word radar by itself is a system that uses radio signals for finding a specific position of something, especially an aircraft or a ship. So this is definitely used a lot in war. You see this all the time, you know, either with submarines or planes or boats, whatever. They use radar. Thus, one would be looking at a screen uh, to detect and become aware of it. By extension, we also say, you know, under the radar. So something could be, you know, not so easily seen. Uh, this term started to be used during World War II when a plane was flying too low to be detected by radar and therefore undetectable. It was soon used in other situations. So if somebody or something could be under the radar, then that means they, they're not being noticed. They're not being spotted. All right, let's continue. In the old TV show MASH, there, was, there used to be a character that got uh, the nickname Radar. Yeah, so in, in the show, they everybody called him Radar. I, I don't even know what his real name was supposed to be. Uh, because he was able to detect helicopters or other flying aircraft before they were visible or could be heard. So he would be yelling, you know, the helicopters are coming, give them a warning. So the people started getting ready before time. And it is kind of uh, funny because I do remember um, my father had said too when he was in World War II that he knew a guy that was like this that could also tell before other people. For some reason, I don't know what it was, who knows, <laughs> that he knew before others or before it was visible, before you could hear it, that either planes were coming or helicopters were coming or some kind of aircraft was coming. Um, so maybe there really was someone like this. Maybe that's why the character got put into, uh, uh, there was a movie mash and also the TV show. Um, who knows, maybe in every war or some situation, there could be somebody like this. They kind of have a little bit of a radar. That's what they mean. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right. And we got actually three examples to show just how we would use this. Recently, when a bomb blew up in Texas. Hmm. It was reported that, you know, it was believed to be a suicide bomber. The FBI said the suspect was not even on their radar. So, I mean, they were not aware of this guy. They weren't following him. They're not thinking him to be suspicious of anything. So he wasn't even on their radar. All right, let's continue. Number two, about 10 years ago, cryptocurrencies, you know, ones like Bitcoin or Ethereum or something like that, were not even on uh investors radar so most people were not really paying attention and there was a few there's a few early people out there uh that you know started buying a little bit before this but not most most of them were trying to you know staying away from it not even thinking about it so it wasn't even on their radar at that time all right and number three here that band became famous out of nowhere and wasn't even on the radar of most talent scout so they weren't even aware of this bet okay anyway i hope you got it i hope it's clear i hope it was informative thank you for your time bye bye